numbers. <laughs> Welcome to DerekWeaver.com. In this video, we will discuss receiving, unpackaging, and assembling your W977 wheel balancer. When your W977 arrives, it will be packaged in a crate similar to this crate. Prior to signing the delivery receipt, inspect the crate for damage or irregularities and note that on the delivery receipt. Your crate will have a, an address label with your address. It will have an orange warning label that tells the freight company to handle the crate with caution. It will have a white warning label that tells you to inspect the crate before signing the delivery receipt and note any damage on the delivery receipt. And a green label that tells the freight company not to stack the crate. To remove the top of the crate from the skid, loosen the tin tabs around the bottom of the crate. After the tin tabs are loosened, you can remove the top of the crate. Now we will remove the top of the crate. You may need assistance for this step. Remove the remaining packaging material and take inventory of the items in the crate. You should have a small box with the hood, part of the hood assembly. A large box, which is the accessory box. And the hood, and of course the wheel balancer itself. You can now unbolt the balancer from the skid. Remove two handles from the accessory box and install them on the left hand side of the machine to be used as solid lifting points for removing the wheel balancer from the skid. Now we can remove the wheel balancer from the skid. We're going to start the assembly by installing the hood Begin that by removing the four Allen bolts from the back of the machine using an 8 millimeter Allen wrench. Once you remove the hood bracket from the small box, you can install it on the back of the machine where you remove the four Allen bolts. Once the hood bracket is installed, and plug the two wires from the hood switch into the two wires protruding from the back of the machine. Re remove the Allen bolt from the hood shaft and remove the re protective styrofoam from the hood switch. Now we will install the hood on the hood shaft. Continue sliding the hood onto the hood shaft until it's firmly on. Once the hood is fully on the hood shaft, you can rest it on its open stop. Install the Allen bolt back in the hood shaft to keep the hood on. Tighten it with an 8mm Allen wrench and install the hood spring which you'll find in the accessory box. Now we will install the three remaining accessory handles. And the tool holder snaps into place. And the final step of the installation is to install the 40 millimeter shaft. We tighten it until it's hand tight. And then we use an eight millimeter Allen wrench in the through hole to snug the shaft. Now we will define the key functions for the W977. The DYN STA key allows you to enter the dynamic mode or the static mode. The ALU key allows you to enter one of four standard alternative weight placement modes. 
The ALU asterisk key allows you to enter machine-defined alternative weight placement, in which case you will use the distance gauge to place your stick-on weights. The matching key allows you to match the heavy side of a wheel to the light side of a tire. The car MOT key allows you to enter the car mode or the motorcycle mode. The weight split key allows you to split weights and hide them behind spokes for a more aesthetically pleasing look. The millimeter inch key allows you to use millimeters or inches. The people key, when pushed briefly, shows you the exact amount of imbalance of a given tire wheel assembly. When held for six seconds, it allows you to enter the calibration mode. The gram ounce key allows you to change from ounces to grams. The house key allows you to enter the program mode and allows you to define user settings for one of four users. The DIS plus and minus key allows you to change the distance. The BRE plus and minus key allow you to change the wheel width. The DIA plus and minus key allow you to change the wheel diameter. The stop key stops a spin cycle and the start key starts a spin cycle. Your W977 wheel balancer is assembled and ready for use. Prior to balancing your first wheel, we recommend calibrating the machine. Thank you for choosing DerekWeaver.com for all your automotive equipment needs.